your news on the go. It's 7.53 and 65 degrees in Syracuse. Here are today's top stories and your news on the go. New this morning, Syracuse firefighters are quickly put out a structure fire in the 4400 block of South Salina Street last night. That's near the Budget Inn Motel. The crews were called to the scene just after 10 o'clock, and the department says it took less than 10 minutes to put out the flames. No word yet on the cause or any injuries. And damage cleanup is underway after an EF1 tornado ripped through the Oneida County town of Western. Neighbors are salvaging what they can in the tornado, packing winds of 105 miles per hour. When it touched down around 7.30 Thursday night, the damage spanned more than two miles. And a way to tackle youth violence is kicking off today. It's a community-wide festival at the Victory Temple Fellowship Church to celebrate fathers and children. Thanks to generous donations, the food is stocked and ready to be served. And after being postponed because of bad weather, that event is happening today from 12 to 6 p.m. And the CDC has new guidance on wearing masks in schools. Students who are fully vaccinated don't have to wear them in class. The exception is on the school bus where masks are still needed regardless of vaccination status. The CDC says the decision is ultimately up to state and local school districts. And here in New York State, the CDC's guidance is just that. The ultimate decision is up to the state health and education departments, and they're still reviewing this new guidance. And at 7.55, Lindsay's here with a final check of Central New York's most accurate forecast. Lindsay? Well, we're off to a cloudy start this morning, but we do have temperatures in the 60s. Our dew points, they're in the 50s, so it's nice and comfortable. We will see some sunshine later on today. We already have some sunshine developing north of the thruway. We have the clouds still around the Syracuse area and for points south, but it is a dry start. We do have a mainly dry day today for most. There may be a spotty shower, but I think for the most part, we do get away with a dry day, a beautiful one with some sunshine and temperatures nice and seasonable. Tonight stays quiet as well. We'll have lows falling into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees. And then tomorrow, we do have a better chance for some showers, especially south of the thruway in the afternoon. Plenty of dry time along and north of the thruway for our Sunday. Temperatures are still in the low 80s. Our humidity starts to come up and it really cranks up starting next week. And so do the temperatures. We're near 90 degrees on Tuesday. And each afternoon, I would watch out for some scattered showers and storms. Some of which could be on the strong side, but the day as a whole isn't a wash. Yeah, lots yeah, of thunderstorms. Summer, summertime weather. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us this morning. For news and weather anytime, just download the News Channel 9 app. Our next update is at 827. Good morning, America's next. Thank you for watching and enjoy your Saturday, everybody.